What's up, guys? We're in a three-one lane here again, talking today about the appendix carry. Uh, so we ran that contest there a couple weeks ago, or a few days ago, or whenever the hell that was, and um, got some good feedback, good questions. So I've already covered um, drawing from that apex position or from that rear position in my video, drawing from concealment. So if you haven't checked that out already, check it out. It's going to go a lot more into depth on some of the technical things about drawing from a concealed position. Uh, so appendix carry is simply called appendix carry because we're carrying a pistol right over the top of my appendix. So basically anything in front of my hip here, some guys like it right under that belt buckle right in the center here right over your crotch. Some guys like it a little bit more out over that hip pocket. Doesn't change it. Uh, they're all just nuances or variations of the appendix carry. So the appendix carry is a very popular method of carry especially with uh, people that do things like executive protection bodyguard work, PSD work, or for people who may be in situations where uh, maybe they're sitting in a vehicle and things a lot of the time. Uh, so it's going to give us a couple of main advantages. The, the most obvious advantage of the appendix carry is that it takes all the controls, all the same draw techniques and things from my apex carry back here behind the hip, and it puts all the controls right in front of the body. So now, instead of having to turn my body, reach across my body, everything like that, everything is just right in front, and it's nice and simple. Uh, the second advantage that we're going to get is if I have a low riding holster, it's going to be more feasible for me to sit down in a truck or any sort of vehicle and draw from that position to meet potential threats. Anybody that carries uh, on the hip, behind the hip like I normally do, and you ride in a vehicle, you've got a seat belt on most of the time, depends, um, and you've got that seat, you try reaching back and getting that pistol out and it's very difficult and usually uh, it's not going to happen in any sort of quick manner. So when I'm driving, I usually have to switch to some other form of carrier, put the pistol in a holster next to the seat or something like that. Otherwise, it's basically just back there for window dressing. Now, the last main advantage that we're going to get with the appendix carry is, especially if I'm working something like that executive protection um, or PSD or if I have my family, whatever it may be. So while I have to focus on these people and moving them out of the way, I've got threats that potentially are coming on all sides. So now, while I can still keep myself oriented to the people I'm getting out of the way and I have threats that are coming potentially both my flanks in front behind it's much easier for me to move them while coming right to that pistol in front whereas if I'm trying to move them and I'm trying to run but I'm also trying to get back behind my body it can be a little bit more difficult and can be a little bit discombobulated when I do that so with the pros there's always going to be the cons of anything so the cons of the appendix carry are that one the distance between my target and myself is closer. So if I've got someone that I'm drawing from a very close distance, instead of having the pistol back here so I'm naturally shaded, I can keep this hand to block them, block my hand, uh, my head, whatever that may be, now that distance is closed down a little bit. Uh, so if the person was able to see me going for my pistol or see that pistol, now they could potentially grab my hands, uh, grab the pistol itself, much easier than back here. All right. Number two is that when I'm going from that retention position, all right, shading my body is going to put me in a little bit more of an awkward position than when I'm shading my body coming back here to this apex or this behind the hip position. Now the other main disadvantage and what I think is the most important disadvantage to take into consideration if you're um, trying to figure out where you like to carry your pistol is if you like a high canted holster like I do, uh, my typical holster is going to be a Raven concealment holster and it's got that slight forward cant and for carrying on or behind the hip it's excellent. Love that holster. If I shift that now to the appendix position, now it rides up so high that it's almost totally awkward for me to draw and it really restricts my movement. Anything that I do gets that pistol pushed right against my washboard abs here, pushes it out and it's going to expose my pistol, make it much more difficult um, for me to keep it concealed. And also with it restricting my movements, now if I have that really high position with that holster, squatting, bending down, sitting down becomes almost impossible. So if you're going for the appendix carry, almost always that lower riding holster in front is going to be the most important. Uh, so go ahead, give all those methods a try. Uh, you want to make sure that you find the holster carrying method, uh, the concealed carrying method that works the best for you.